God bless everybody watching me. This is the Gaffa Prophet Passion Java. I'm so excited to bring you this revelatory experience that is going to cut up power you to another dimension for transformation. Uh, I am here today to talk about seven signs to know you have a spiritual husband. You have a demonic curse that cause you not to be married. These demons that are holding you that you won't be free or happy in your marriage. These demons that always make sure your family get a divorce after divorce or divorce or nobody gets to be married today. I'm going to be dealing with what we call spiritual husband. It's just titles or names that we human beings give. A demon is a demon. Whether you call it ugly demon, you call it a stingy demon, poverty demon, spiritual husband, whatever you call it, a demon is a demon. So when I deal with spiritual husband today, I want to talk exactly how does these spirits come on human beings. Number one, they are already in your family because it's, they are following your bloodline from your grand-grandfather, your grandfather, your father, you or yourself, or your grand-grandmother, your mother, your sisters, and you yourself. It's, it runs in the family. And I'm going to give you a solution how you can be delivered from it. Right. Second dimension to attract or bring these spiritual husbands to you it comes, however, by unforgiveness. It's because you can't let go of what happened in the past. How do I explain it better? Your spirit knows about your future, but your soul knows about your past. So your soul is always dragging you back, be it your ex-boyfriend that was good sexually, that whenever you're having sex with another guy on bed, you are thinking of that guy you are opening a door for a spiritual husband to come in your life. Number two, if your own man can't satisfy you sexually and you start living a masturbation life, it opens a door and brings a spiritual husband to you. How do you know that this spiritual husband is now coming to attack me in these days? The first sign to know that there's a spiritual husband coming is when you start forgetting your dreams and forgetting a lot of stuff. The Bible says, when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, give you remembrance. But these demons, they take away your remembrance. They remove all the memory you have when you're having a dream. Right. When these spirits come upon you, sign number one to know I have a spiritual husband. It's very simple. You won't have sex with your partner. When I say you won't have sex, I'm talking of a lady that will go for one year. And these things are real. I counsel people, I pray for people, I deliver people. And if you need deliverance from all these type of demons, go on my website, prophetpassion.com, and register for a one-on-one -on -one session. I'll personally be with you on the phone. Pray for you, deliver you over the phone. Number one, how do I know I have a spiritual husband? How do I know? When you can't enjoy sex with your partner. There are people that go for one year without having sex. Six months not no sex what's happening i just don't feel like doing it the only way for you to know your wife as a spiritual husband is when you're coming from work you are ready for sex you are ready for sex your private part is hard strong when you get and you want to have sex with your wife it sleeps like 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 i don't know how to explain it you you you, you can't be hard you can't do anything every time you are kissing or holding each other you're hard when you want to get in it dies. It's the other sign to know you have a spiritual husband. When you're practicing sex, some of you it's hard, but you will never come. You will never reach a place where you can release spams. You have sex and sex and she says it's enough. You sleep with there, another sign to know. You sleep with there, too much sex, but you will not come at all. Or you won't feel, you won't feel like you're having sex with a human being. Masturbation will be more pleasing than having sex with your own wife. That's first sign to know you have a spiritual husband. Your husband can't be hard when he's about to penetrate you, or you don't have any appetite of that sex. Right. Number two, the second sign to know you have a spiritual husband. You are always bleeding January to December. These spiritual husbands avoid you from having sex. They make sure you will never have a sexual life with any other person. But in dreams, they come, they have sex with you. When you are by yourself with your man, nobody has sex with you. Blood starts dripping. If it's not blood, you start having infections, even when you're not having sex. You're having white stuff coming out from you, 
or it's always blood coming out from you, or your private part smells more than garbage. It smells like, like a real smell, like, mmm, I don't know how to express it. It's another sign to know I have a spiritual husband. Point number three, without taking much time from you, how do I know I have a spiritual husband? You can't forgive your own husband. You can't forgive any man of your past. So whenever you meet a man or you are with your husband or anyone in your life, you are moody, you disrespect, you can't communicate at all. The husband says this, the wife says this. It goes both sides. A man can have a spiritual wife, right? Or a woman can have a spiritual husband. You can't communicate. You try to bring subjects. It's just one word answer. It's like there is always a problem. What's the problem? You don't know. You can't really tell. We, I, I pray for people. I, I counsel a lot of people. What, what really is the, 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 the problem in your marriage? Ah, he's always like this. She's always like this. Like, oh, but, but what started? Nothing. There can't be communication when there is a spiritual husband. Those demons need to be dealt with. They need to be removed from your lives. They need to be totally out from your life. You can't enjoy sexually when these demons are there. You can't forgive. Your mood is always another level. You are good with everybody else, with other people, but with any, your partner, no. And then, point number four, we have people that are suffering with a spiritual husband. How do I know I have this spiritual husband? This spiritual husband, what they do? They destroy every relationship you get into. Every relationship. You, whenever somebody wants to marry you and you have a dream with a spiritual husband, that person will run away from your life. And you know what I'm talking about. Some of you experience these things. When you're about to be married, I remember of a story that happened in Zimbabwe. I come from Zimbabwe, I'm here in America. Uh, I have a church here in Maryland. In Zimbabwe, a lady came and uh, threw a big wedding with the boyfriend and stood at the, at the platform waiting for the man, waiting for the man the whole day. The man never showed up. The most embarrassing part of her life. Why? When a spiritual husband is there, it makes sure nobody cares to marry you. You do makeup, you look nice, you smell good, you have your own things, but nobody will marry you. They can come and have sexual relationship with you, or just use you, or lie to you, but nobody will be really there for you. It's a spiritual husband. Don't say because I have a child. I know people that have four children with four different men that had white weddings. It's not about that. Ah, maybe because I don't have expensive clothes. It's not about that. They are things you need to deal with spiritually. Spiritual demons need a spiritual prayer. That's why I'm saying if you have prayed for yourself and you can't really deliver yourself, I am here as the prophet to help you, to deliver you. So there are people that can't be married simply because of this demon. It holds people. It makes sure you don't go anywhere. Another point, how do I know I have a spiritual husband? Your prayer life. These demons don't allow you to pray at all. Even if you want to pray, you can go to churches, but you can't pray. Jesus says at least pray one hour in a day. You don't even know how to pray one hour. You don't even know how to read the Bible. When somebody preaches, you sleep. Why? These demons don't want you to be close to God. And I'm here today to pray with everybody. And I'm saying go to the website prophetpassion.com. Register for one-on-one. -on -one and I'll meet you there and pray with you, speak deliverance in your life. Your sexual life is gonna be restored. You will be married, you will be blessed, you will be covered. I pray and I've ministered prophetically to people that never know who was going to marry them. I prophesy their names, the phone number, the address of the person who's gonna marry them, and yes, they are married now, why? The prophetic is always important to give people direction. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Until then, keep on keeping on and God is going to bless you high and high. Amen.